Monza, the penultimate weekend of the season, and we are here. Welcome to the commentator's vlog from the beautiful country of Italy and the beautiful track of Monza. We're about to go racing for the penultimate time this season. Can we crown a new champion? Will we see a good performance from one of our many new drivers that are taking part over the course of this weekend? Lots and lots and lots of excitement are yet to unfold. And I absolutely can't wait. We had a bit of a washout, it's fair to say, last time round at the Nürburgring. Nasty, nasty fog getting in the way and spoiling all of our good fun. And now we are back again. We've got probably one of the fastest tracks in Europe. We've got a field of 25 cars. We've got Franco Girolame wanting to, uh, hopefully for him, wrap up the title. And we've got Josh Files and Isidro Callejas that will be very, very keen indeed to not let that happen. So, fireworks are predicted to say the very least and uh, today part one of the vlog it is friday morning the cars haven't quite been out yet they're going in for scrutineer and checks this is nice to see the rc2 junior team uh, sergio lopez that's his uh, beautiful well liveried cooper good to see rc2 junior back again and there is uh, fernandez one of the three cars that have been uh, brought to the race from RC2 Junior. So good to see them back. We've got a few new drivers as well. That is another one, one of the aggressive Team Italia cars. So uh, they've got a new car here as well, joining Pepe Ariola. Ariola has been very strong actually in his very short time with aggressive Team Italia. So no doubt they'll be even stronger still. Now they've got an extra vehicle on the racetrack, giving some more valuable data and of course, clues in the name aggressive team Italia Italian team Italian track be good to see how they can do on home soil so everybody's just going through scrutineering bay making sure that their checks everything's all in place that is Azidro Kayas one of our three potential championship contenders so a big weekend for Kayas files and of course uh, Franco Girolamo I need to get out of the way because there's a reverse in Hyundai Elantra coming up the road don't want to get run over that'll be a bad start to uh, their time in TCI Europe if they've run over the commentator so it'll uh, be good to see how they get on be good to see how this man gets on as well Marco Butte on home soil he's been so deeply impressive this season as Marco it'll be really good to see how he gets on at Monza there we go that is uh, Nicola and Josh just in the background as well so I'm not going to bother them Josh yeah, let's pop our nose into the come to you racing tent as well see everybody's hard at work Coronel's car in the background Victor Davidovsky in the foreground and uh, Franco Girolamo so Franco this morning he's uh, bullish about his prospects I think it's fair to say pretty excited about what may well unfold over the course of the season and I can see uh, a couple of the Hyundai Yannick Motorsport guys walking up as we go so uh, unfortunately Matto Hommel is uh, not going to be around and uh, oh guys you're right you're right you're right so everybody's uh, just getting everything ready driver's briefing is in about an hour or so that is aggressive team Italia so it's just a case of getting the car checks the drivers are all really in hiding pretty much until it's time to uh, start to go racing we really are getting involved in this car aren't we everywhere we go they go so <laughs> I'll get past them in a minute and let's see if we can find somebody to talk to that's always fun isn't it to have a little chat to people this is target competition so target are one of the teams that have got basically everything to play for files is the uh, second place in the championship before the commencement of racing that is josh's car now and they are going to be absolutely desperate they've got one job one job and one job only win so all they need to do take the race victory now this is interesting this is one of our new competitors for this season for this race even sorry at monza so a beautiful hyundai i30n so it's nice to see an i30 on the grid home soil for umberti could that be a big result not sure we'll find out be interesting to see how the i30 goes on it's a nice looking team nice professional looking setup We've got the big awning at the side and of course on home soil so there's a little bit of home advantage i think it's probably fair to say for umberti and team so it'll be very interesting to see if they've got what it takes in European competition 
to get that car up at the sharp end of the grid. We're in the support paddock here at Monza today, so cars have just finished, hence my decision to start doing the vlog now, where you can actually hear my voice. Uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I do not know, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward, looking forward to track action. Here's another one of our new drivers and new teams. Very, very beautiful looking Audi, the Audi RS3. Evo should be a quick car at Monza, so uh, expect to see this one somewhere near the sharp end of the grid as the race unfolds. I can, uh, oh, here's a man I want to talk to, the man with the curious dog in the paddock. He's seen me, he's smiling, he's got a box in his hand, he can't avoid me. Jacobo! Good morning, Good morning my friend, how are you? Uh, very fine, fine thanks, and you? Yeah, really good, you're at home. How exciting is this, Monza? Ah, I'm excited, the, the car arrived only this night, because I destroyed the car the next week in uh, Vallelunga. But uh, my guys uh, get a very grateful work to rebuild the car, and uh, everything is last minute for, for us today. And we have, uh, yes, it's very close, very close. Well, I'll let you get off, but best of luck for the weekend. Musa, Musa, hey. hello. <laughs> hello. Cutest dog in the paddock, there we go. Good luck, mate, see you soon. So, unfortunately, Giacomo had a difficult weekend. I've had a long, as I say, destroyed the car, but it's looking absolutely beautiful. So, uh, expect them to be good. It was fantastic, let's be honest. Gamande drove a fabulous race last time out at the Nürburgring, running well inside the top 10 before they had to come uh, to a premature conclusion for mechanical issues. Another one of our uh, new entrants in a Honda. So, it's nice to see another Honda in the field. So, yeah, expect the big things from Giacomo Gamande. I think. He'll have a, uh, a very nice weekend indeed. And there we go. That's a little tour, a very quick tour, on Friday morning around the paddock. And, uh, yeah, it's getting excited. The calm before the storm, I think, is what they say. So everybody's kind of like just getting on with the business and making sure everything's legitimate and ready to go racing. And then it's really going to kick off in free practice. And honestly, I absolutely love what I do. I absolutely love TCI Europe. And I've, I've been bowled over with excitement for every round of this championship. But this one, this one's going to be mint. This is going to be a major weekend. And we could end it with a brand new champion. For Franco, I hope that happens for the competition. I hope it runs on to Barcelona because uh, this is season, I just don't want to finish. So there we go, part one of the vlog, over and done with. See you on the other side. Bye-bye.